Hello everybody. So I have not made a video since I made that initial one and I want to update you on my altar for Beltane. Um, I have moved since then and now my altar has, it used to be a just up on a dresser, now it has its own dedicated little spot right next to my bed. This is faux, don't worry. Um, so I just kind of wanted to like go over it. Um, I'm also on Instagram and I show it there to you. But let's go, oh, sorry I was sitting on the floor. Um, so let's start over here. These are just my pillar candles. Um, I use these just as representations of my goddess, my god and my goddess. They're white, I got them from Dollar Tree, very inexpensive. Um, this is a lavender plant, this is fake because uh, my cats and my children would destroy them and I thought it just looked really pretty and it brought some vibrancy to everything. This is actually an antique water jug, it's got a bird on it. Um, I really like birds, I feel very connected to them. And then the necklace hanging on it is just my mother's old necklace. My mother is no longer alive. Um, and I feel like she helps me a lot with guidance and things. So I have that up there for her. My other pillar candle. I have some just regular sea salt. Of course, sea salt. I have some oils. I've been getting into this more. I need a lot more. Um, but I have peppermint. I have one called happiness. <laughs> that sounded cool. Um, I just bought mine from the store. If you live in western New York, I bought these from Tops. So they're probably not, you know, the greatest quality, but hey, we do what we can. These are just other little candles. I really like white candles unless I'm doing something specific because I feel like it it's multi-purpose, you know what I mean? Um, so this is one of my favorite pieces. This is from my husband. This was a gift. Um, it is a frog statue that is made out of 100% volcanic rock that came from Hawaii. Um, I use it as a representation of Earth. I always put a blue candle there because I feel like they work together. This apple is just an offering to my goddess, Freya. My two-year-old took a bite out of it, so I need to replace it. Um, and then for Beltane, you know, I, I have limited funds right now, so I found these beautiful little flower candles from the dollar store. So I bought a red one, and I bought a pink one, and then it just kind of opened up everything, made it look a little more festive. This piece I also got from the dollar store. It's just wings. It's a candle holder. Um, it really, it's even a little cracked, but it really jumped out at me when I saw it. I felt like it was a good representation of Freya, and I really, really liked it. And I always use red for her. Red is my symbolization for her. Um, so there's that. I just keep little tea lights in it. And then this is my incense holder. It is pink. Right now I am burning patchouli. Um, this is a black walnut that came from a tree outside of my in my backyard. I have a couple stone down. I was cleansing them with some sage. This is the smoky quartz, I believe. If I'm wrong, please let me know. Um, and a rose quartz. This is my birthstone. It's the one that I feel the most connected with. Um, here, this is just sand. I found this somewhere on Pinterest that it collects any overflow and doesn't make a big mess. So it's just sand and a cute little star container that I found. Again, dollar store. I have some white sage here I use as a cleanser. Um, I read somewhere after I got this off of Amazon that California white sage is actually endangered. So I don't think I'll be buying California white sage again, but I have three of them. So I'm using them because I have them. Um, this is some water. I'm, again, DIY witch on a budget. So I have a jar here that I used to hold jelly. That's rainwater that I blessed under the big blood moon back in January. Um, my lighter. I'm just doing a little ritual right now. Um, my husband and I are trying for another baby. We've been struggling with some secondary infertility. 
So I kind of made up this one. I've got a pink one, a white one is my wish candle, and then the blue. And I carved the names of what our future children would be in them, and I've lit them. And I'm going to let them burn down to uh, cessate, or what is the word, cessation? Whatever. Um, this is a little spell candle I made. So I, I save these little tins because they're wonderful for making little spells when you don't have a lot of room or a lot of big jars and containers like I don't. Um, this is a fertility one that I did for me and my husband because obviously Beltane is the time of fertility. So um, I did that one. And then I did this white healing one, which I've got the smoky quartz on because it's supposed to be healing. This one I did for my husband a few months ago when he got sick. Uh, he had to have surgery. And so I've actually kept it here for him. You can see all the stuff in the bottom, but it's wonderful because it keeps it encapsulated. And then I put the quartz on top of it. And then this one I made for my friend is like a little anti-anxiety and financial success one. That's why it's white and green. Um, you know, so I just leave those up there as like reminders. And then all my overflow has fallen into my diaper box here. Mom life. So I have incense, I have patchouli, and I have some nag shampa. I also have dragon's blood. Um, but my husband really likes that one, so I let him keep it. And then I have these little, these are where my blue candles come from. They were actually a gift from my husband, and they worked out perfect. They've gotten a little tattered from the move, but <laughs> there they are. These are my Freya candles, again, dollar store little red tea lights that I use for her. Some more sage. Sorry, I'm looking for you. I came in a pack of three. So I'm going to keep those. I think they're like $10, but again, I don't want to um, like endorse buying things that are endangered. Um, I'm trying candles. I bought, I bought these on Amazon. They were very inexpensive. I've messed up some of the colors and tried to move them around. So they don't come like this, but they're great. So if you're one of people like me, like I do a lot of candle magic and it works. And then this is the other one that I've been going through. As you can see, they've gotten a little <laughs> messed up. It's hard to keep my two-year-old away from this. She really fights me hard. She wants to blow out all the candles. She thinks it's birthday time. So yeah. Oh, and then the last thing I have down here. Some more black walnuts. This used to have dirt in it. Um, I always like to have a little representation of earth and water on my altar. Um, but all the dirt outside right now in Buffalo is mud. So I found these black walnuts. I thought they were wonderful because they came from a tree. It's obviously, you know, earth and life and seeds. So I have those stored here too. So there we go. There is my altar. Um, you know, just bear in mind that not every pagan or Wiccan or witch or any whatever you are um, does things differently. I don't have a cauldron. I don't have a pestle and mortar. These are things that I'm working on getting. But obviously we work with what we can get. And uh, so yeah, that's it. Thank you for watching. I hopefully will be making more videos. I got a webcam and some editing software. So hopefully we can bring this into fruition very soon because... I want to make more videos. So yeah, blessed be everybody and have a good day.